now, I guess. Okay, <laughs> starting real quick. So, this is us. We just saw Bad Member Soup Man about, what was it, three hours ago, something like that? So, um, yeah. And this is will be our thoughts about the opinion of the movie and how we thought it, if it was good or bad. Well, um, first of all, it was bad. Yeah, it, it was, was very it bad. It was so bad. It was pretty bad. Um, so, yeah, enjoy. Um, I'm David. Uh, this is uh, Michael. Andrew. <laughs> I was waiting for tech. Do, do you want to? You want to wait? I on fell this? asleep. Like, what do I have to say? Well, you can introduce your voice. <laughs> yeah, introduce your voice. Or no, I wasn't planning on saying something. Or and my girlfriend. I don't know if it's do it that way. You really want to do it that way? I mean, so. Um, <laughs> anyway, you first suck. off, the movie made like no sense yeah. at all. It was hard to follow for you know your average movie movie goer. Yeah, and. We're not even your average moviegoers. We know shit about comic book movies. And, like, we pay attention to things. Yeah. We didn't understand some of the like, points they made. I, I mean, I should probably also say, I never saw Man of Steel. I, but I, I saw it. I, I In the fallout for Man of Steel, I caught all of the important things that, like, um... The, the that they kind of covered in the opening sequence of the movie. Yeah. Um, which the opening sequence of the movie also covered way more shit than ever needed to be covered. Like, we got the origin uh, story of Bruce Wayne. Uh, that, uh, you gotta go the other way. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the other way? Okay. I'm no, 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 no. I'm not, I, I got him in U turn. Just turn around. Just turn right here, Michael. Uh, right here. There's a little thing right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just. Just, yeah, just wrong drive way. the wrong way for like. There. How about that? Is like, that better? No. We can go this way now. Why didn't you follow CC? Okay, anyway, you cut anyway, him off. Anyway, sorry, people in the room. <laughs> you don't get to see me. Michael crazy just drove. Michael driving. <laughs> Michael just drove up to uh, a, a sign that said one way, pointing to the right, and he turned around. <laughs> okay, so where were you? Excellent. Um, you haven't seen. seen okay, Man okay. Of Steel? So, 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 so yeah, I haven't seen Men of Steel. Yeah. Um, but the opening was very, very um, over laden with like they gave the the origin story for Batman, which. I, I feel like if you had showed up 20 minutes late to this movie, saw a guy with glowing eyes and, and a bat-shaped helmet, and gone, wait, who is this? W what world do you come from that you can't Cease recognize? Cease is calling you. There you go. Okay, so now we're back. Yeah, look, okay, okay. Um, um, so, yeah. uh, hold on, where was I? I was, I was saying, you said glowing Batman. eyes, Every, Batman everyone, hat. Everyone knows who Batman is. I don't know anyone in the fucking world who doesn't know who Batman is. People who don't have water know who Batman <laughs> and is. If you don't know who Batman is, how much do you really miss if you miss the origin story? Yeah. Like, do we really need like the detailed shot showing of parents shot in Also, back what alley? was with what was with uh, Batman's or sorry, what was with Bruce Wayne's? Uh, like nightmare, nightmare flashback. Like, oh yeah, that made no sense. He had name. like one that was like Bat Max, uh, which is Bat Max, which, which which was like this dystopic future where I guess Superman is the ruler. Right. Yeah, yeah that was weird. That was weird. The whole movie was weird. Like, okay, the only thing I want to say is good was the fighting was okay. Okay, okay. I will also say there was one. Actually, no. I don't think the fighting was very good. Really? Like, I didn't think. Kind of I didn't think that. Yeah. Um, like, they really showed the skills of Batman and Superman. They showed them be strong, chiseled men. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, I, strong chins. I'm not sure if anyone else here has the same problem here, but I almost could not tell them apart. They look too identical to me. Who? Like way Batman too and identical. Superman. They look too identical. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like, I mean, like Ben Affleck and um, they both have whatever. strong jaws. Um, strong jaws. Oh strong, yeah. Strong eye line. Yeah. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Um, but but like Ben really, Affleck is more grizzled. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't really looking for grizzled. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, there there is one good thing that I will say about it, uh, and that would. Whoa! The fog is really thick here. Yeah. Um, so say, you don't want your yeah. high beams there. Um, okay, yeah. So. There was one good thing, and that was when they were fighting. Um, that Batman had a had a great line, like, uh, "I bet your parents uh, taught you that you meant something, and that you would make a difference, uh, and that your the things you did mattered." Uh, well, my parents taught me a different lesson: dying in a gutter for no reason at all. 
and I was like, that's that's a good contrast. I yeah. do like that. Really now, if contrast. only that contrast had had any impact on their character arcs at all. Yeah, right, dude. Now, like, we talked about this before. The problem that, like, we saw, me and David, yeah. um, was that we saw that, like, it was way too focused on, look at these random of circumstances that are making Not this happen. Not that much, but, like, that, just like, a bit. Oh, I like, don't know what your turn happens, is. Have, Actually, yeah, no, right. And, yeah, and like where I mean, we saw have a good like twenty some miles. Very focused on okay, this is what Batman believes. This is what Superman believes. They con they conflict with each other, but then they can work out their differences as the fight goes on. Like, what was it you said that your edit was? What? That they were like um, that Superman held Batman over like the edge. Oh, okay. So 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 my edit, like if if I could have if I could have directed this to be like um, to be like just a totally different movie um, would have been this movie this particular um, is just about Batman versus Superman and like get rid of Doomsday get rid of the Justice League get rid of Wonder Woman huh get rid of Wonder Woman yeah get rid of, well like so even you could have Wonder Woman showing up as a character in it but like have her show up as the character that was investigating everything and ne not be revealed to be Wonder Woman until after the credits, right. you know? Yeah. Like, that would have been great. Like, like um, you have this random character that nobody knows her affiliation. I mean, like, people will go into the movie knowing who she is, but like... To give you an example, I don't want to go into Batman versus Superman and have Wonder Woman steal the show. Yeah. Which is exactly what happened. Yeah, and and like like the the main the main reason that I say all this is that I feel like the movie lacked any kind of focus. It was just all over the place. Well, also I think they're they're trying to like rush it because they want to catch up with Marvel. Yeah, but Marvel's it. had years yeah, and multiple saying. movies and you multiple studios. You can't yeah. just you yeah. can't just jump in and be yeah. like, oh, don't worry, we have all that planning too. Yeah, you have yeah. to actually plan it. You have to work for it. Yeah, but yeah. Make, make make each each character's individual movies. And yeah. then do the big, like, you know, Justice League movie. Not yeah. go yeah. Man of Steel and immediately to, like, the Justice League movie. Like, Man like, of Steel and Justice League yeah. and Wonder Woman yeah. and it's everyone like, else. Yeah, it's like, that's not, what? yeah, don't do that. Batman versus Superman versus like, Doomsday with it, Wonder it, Woman and it, Knuckles. Like, oh, and, and Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. I don't know what that man's name was, but I'm going to call him Lieutenant Dan. Um, uh, for anyone. For anyone, I don't know why you would be listening to this if you haven't watched the movie. Unless, <laughs> uh, although I will say, you don't need to watch the movie. There is a character who gets his legs uh, Crush. crushed uh, in the fight at the end of Man of Steel. Um, and he comes back in this movie. For some well, he's, he's he didn't, it doesn't comes back. He doesn't come back. He was introduced in this movie. Yeah, maybe he was like um, part of the thing. For yeah. some reason, he was important. Yeah. And, and he lost his legs, but then Lex Luthor made a deal with him that he would give him a wheelchair. No, no, no. Alexander Luthor. Whatever, he's Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Alexander Luthor. It's Lex okay, Luthor. okay. Sure. Is his dad's name just Lex? No, it's probably Alexander. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> So know he is Lex Luthor too. Sure, we'll go with that. So anyways, <laughs> uh, he makes a deal and things ensue. Things um, ensue. Things uh, ensue. He, Lex plants a bomb inside his wheelchair, which is tied to what, a, a Jar of tea? Which looks like a jar of piss. Yeah. Which looks like a jar, a jar of piss. piss. That, that part actually scared the shit out of me. I, I know. I was half I was asleep a... and you jumped in. What? Like, wait, no, no, what? I, I actually wasn't expecting it. I was like, what? Why did that person agree to be a bomb? In a, basically, they, they, I don't think such... they knew. No, I, th I, I think, think he knew. Yeah, yeah. I think they knew. But the thing was, uh, essentially the setup was a bomb where Superman was in a courtroom full of people. The bomb yeah. kills all the people and like you would expect, doesn't leave a scratch on Superman. Oh, right, because he's invulnerable, <laughs> which, you know, why would you ever agree to do that? It doesn't hurt his image, it doesn't hurt him, it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. It maybe makes him a loner for a few hours, Yeah, but that's about it. What were you going to do, like, like pin it on Superman? Oh no, everyone Superman bombed that courtroom. Yeah, because, you know, Superman, he's a suicidal, suicidal terrorist who's not suicidal. Yeah. Oh uh, gosh. Um, let's see. Oh, I never actually, I never actually said what my what my change would have been. Like, there's so the the point at which Batman and Superman decide to set aside their differences is that um, 
that Superman says, oh, you gotta man. save Martha. <laughs> that, that part, oh my god, I was like, really? That was Maybe. the worst moment which, I've which, ever um, seen. Which, um, for anyone who doesn't know. Which you should. Uh, you should. Uh, Martha is the name of Superman's adoptive mother. It's also the name of Martha Wayne, which is Bruce Wayne's mother. Who and died so, in because their moms happen to have the same name, they set aside their differences, which is yeah, bullshit. bullshit. The stupidest like, reason I've ever heard in my entire like. Both life of these, going to both of these characters, have established that they, like, are opposed to each other at a like deep, like philosophical level. <laughs> yeah. But because their moms have the same name, like, they just gonna give up on all that. I'm about to kill you. Oh wait, Martha, Martha, we were, Dude, we're oh. brothers. Now, what I would have preferred, <laughs> what I would have preferred, and like a way that this could have actually worked would have been, um, so make the movie all about Batman and Superman, right? Yeah. Um, and all about their fight. And Batman wants to stop uh, Superman's wanton destruction and collateral damage. But in fighting Superman, he causes insane amounts of collateral damage. And so the end of their fight is Batman, Batman is still fighting. Um, but like Superman gets the upper hand on him, holds him out looking over, like even maybe flies him up to look at the city and, and like shows him like you, what it, what exactly did you hope to accomplish by stopping me? Like you wanted to save the city. Look at what you've done to it trying to stop me. And like, just look down and like have like a bunch of things on fire, just like tons of destruction and then have Batman be like, well, you know what? Maybe I can't beat you, you know? Like, and, and, and that, and that, like, like, maybe that's not the, oh, we're going to be bros now, let's start the Justice League. But, you know, it's a step. Yeah, like, it's basically, it's basically, than what they did in the movie. yeah, have Batman versus Superman end in a ceasefire, you know? Also, another thing about endings, this movie has, like, 20 of them. This has more endings than the fucking Return of the King. <laughs> Which, by the way, the Return of the King earned all of those endings. Well, not not all of them. Not, well, most um, of them. It, it, it earned several of them and then added more. Yeah. But that being said, it at least earned several of them. Yes. Batman vs. Superman didn't earn one. Although, um, Lex Luthor was pretty good. I like the actor. Lex Luthor, so Lex Luthor was pretty good, but he suffered from not having, like, any screen time. And it's also not yeah. called Batman vs. Superman, uh, funded by Lex Luthor. It's called <laughs> Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> and Knuckles. And Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't understand is that the ending, like, right before they went to the credits, the ground started to rise. Did you notice oh, that's, that? That's because he's alive and that's, that's yeah. him, him but being alive. But the dirt was it's like him. moving it's him up. Being oh, well, also, also Superman dies. Yeah. Except for the fact that everybody knows that there's an entire arc called Death of Superman, which is followed by Return of Superman. So, by the way, um, what was what, what's the rule? Did you ever think of what the rule was um, for like people don't want to see like women or children be hurt on screen? I, I don't get where you're going. With this. I, You've the, said this like multiple is, times. I, that's the same thing about Superman dying. We don't want to see it because I we know he's invincible. I was happy Spider-Man finally though. So are they finally going to get rid of Superman? Like, wait, Spider-Man killed Spider-Man. I was. Well, I read some sort of comic book and it's like Spider-Man finally died and they just ended it there. Oh. I don't know. An <laughs> and that was the end of Spider-Man. No more Spider-Man, everybody. Yeah. No, no, there is an alternate universe where Spider-Man dies and someone else he knew took his place. Oh, oh, yeah, that's where, um, not Miles Morales, but somebody else. No, no, I thought it was Miles Morales. Uh, no, no, no. Miles Morales took over Spider-Man when Spider-Man was still alive. <laughs> but, like, he, I think he had to stop for some reason. Uh, well, whatever. We know there's an alternate universe. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah. Okay. I don't really know much about Miles so Morales. Now, you're talking about, like, each actor. So, like, start with Batman, Ben Affleck. Like, how do you think he did as Batman? Um, I mean, I think that he was good. I didn't think that the, um, I didn't think that the, uh, the, 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 the weird flashbacks and stuff Yeah, that part was good. strange. I didn't understand like, that Like, all of the dream stuff, when your movie already like, doesn't okay. make sense, Could, don't What either. was with yeah. that part with, with the, well, I guess it was the Flash? What was, what was that part Yeah, again? what was with what the, the Flash? flash? Dude, there was a flashback with a, um, with a... Warning from the future? Yeah, yeah there like, was a warning from the future delivered by Flash. Wait, are we but sure it was, it was delivered. Well, it was dream. delivered in a dream. Wait, what, yeah. what if that was Cyborg? 
Like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would it be sideways? I don't know because it was just future stuff. Yeah, but it, it was, just but, but, opened up a rift. But yeah, it's but, still in a fucking dream. No, but, but <laughs> that yeah, that changes nothing because I, I guess it could be cyborg if like yeah, cyborg I'm saying, got into opened, his nervous system. I'm saying what if cyborg opened up a rift and that rift opened into his subconscious? What? I don't fucking know. It makes what? more sense. Than how what does the a fuck rift they're talking about? How does a <laughs> rift <laughs> open into your subconscious? I don't know. How does any of the shit in this movie happen? I don't know. Um, Okay. Also, of all the, the of all the heroes to pick, they picked Batman, Superman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Cyborg. Uh, and Cyborg. Aquaman. Why Cyborg? I, Aquaman was there. No, but Aquaman barely showed up. Yeah, he got some screen time. I guess I guess Cyborg showed up about as much as Aquaman yeah. did. Yeah, but why Cyborg? That's what I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't get that. Like, why like Green Lantern? Like, he probably would have been Well, better. I guess I guess because they're trying to make people forget about Green Lantern for now. <laughs> because of the Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, sure. but, but like, was, still, oh, I mean... Yeah. I don't know. Please don't make my suit green or animated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, green. gosh. Yes, um, but yeah, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, so, so next up, uh, Henry, uh, Henry, what is, what's his name? Henry Carville? Henry Carville, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't like him. Really? Like, nothing about him is interesting to me. Hold on, who? Oh, uh, Superman. Okay. Yeah, he was really bland. Like, oh, Sorry, dude. how do we how do we do Superman? Let's have him be stoic. stoic. Stoic is not a good trait for an iconic character. Yeah. Look at, just look at Bygone Jin. Yeah, stoic's almost never good. Mm. Like, there's a few instances where stoic's good. Stoic's good in Marco Polo, when you've got Hundred Eyes, who is a <laughs> warrior who was captured by Kublai Khan and blinded, and so now he is forced to sit in the in the court of Kublai Khan, uh, training people. And I feel like Stoic's a good response there, because what the fuck else is he gonna do? He's not, he's gonna but Superman can do anything. Superman is truth, justice, and the American way. The American way is not Stoic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also, Jeremy Irons is Alfred. Would have loved it if that character had been written better. Yeah. Because that, yeah. I would fucking love to listen to uh, Jeremy Irons do Alfred lines. But guys, Mark Zuckerberg did a great job as Mark. Lex Luthor. <laughs> that was Jesse Eisenberg, I, I thought. Yeah, I know, but he, he was in the social network. And yeah, yeah, he was. Mark Zuckerberg was great. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg makes a great evil genius. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Motherfucking Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> tried to stop, trying to stop Superman. <laughs> trying to stop Superman. He's only got Batman. But he always got the kryptonite. Yeah, yeah, so you know, you know, can't remember his name. You know who's my favorite character in the whole movie? Who? General Zod. <laughs> no, no, can't remember the name of the fucking guy who, who played, who, who wanted to kill Superman. Lex Luthor. <laughs> Jesus, you guys are loud for one o'clock in the morning. This is just uh, a normal Tuesday for me. Well, yeah. Tuesday. Today's Monday. She <laughs> won't know that. <laughs> um, who else was there? I, I guess we can't really say anything about the Wonder Woman. Uh, yeah, that was, that she was wasn't really in that. Uh, yeah, she yeah. Like, makes sense. I feel as like why she I feel like, there. Feel like she her entire like all of her appearances as Wonder Woman. I feel like could have been better written. Well, could have could have been cut out. I liked when she was appearing in her secret identity, you know? Yeah. yeah like, yeah. have her fine. only appear in her secret identity throughout the movie. But, like, have her have a more central role to it. Right. You know? Another thing, uh, the, what was it, the meta-human folder on the computer? Yeah. Uh, that yeah. should have, like, if, if you had to do it, like, like, the executives are breathing down your neck, you have to put that in the movie. Put it after the credits. Yeah. Because it's not relevant to the plot. It should not have been exactly where it was. Because yeah. where it was, it was right they, before the big fight. Yeah. And that's a terrible place. Yeah. They took out, like, sense. they were building up some good momentum there, and then they cut to that. They went to a and, grinding halt for yeah. just trailer placements. Yeah. And that's exactly what it was. It was nothing but a trailer placement. Yeah. Um, what else? Was there any good things in the movie? Um, oh, uh, there, you guys the are just not here missing it. Uh, near the end, when Batman took out the guys with guns, and he didn't use a gun himself. That was a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the fact that he was using guns like at tons of other times. Yeah, if the whole movie had him like take out guns without using guns, yeah. that would have been perfect. Because that would have shown also philosophy. Also, also um, the fact that they did they inserted just a random, like the, the random Bat Max uh, dream yeah, Bat Max where stupid. he was using guns. I was and like, like he was taking guns from people and shooting guns in the air. Yeah. 
going on Rambo bats on and them. shooting at people with yeah. the pistol and get, getting confirmed headshots that you can yeah. see. Yeah, um, like that was that was that was not dumb. Batman. What else? I I like Lawrence Fishburne's character. I thought he was okay. But he didn't do much. Yeah, he didn't do much, but at least that's he that, was like. So that's, that's the okay. thing that I, I, I should probably say is that, like, all of the good things in this movie, we're they like, were enough. undercut by the fact that it was so filled with other stuff. Yeah. It, it seemed like you know? they were throwing a lot of stuff at a wall to see what, what would stay. Yeah. I just say that I think, I think the legs of the legs of the parts were pretty good. Like, those are probably the better parts. I mean, it was, when he was on screen, like, that was like, the, I was like, oh, yes. That's, I don't know. General Zod felt kind of wooden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed kind of dead to me. Yeah. <laughs> he, he needed to walk around. A bit of a lifeless performance, if I might say. <laughs> I'm sorry. He had to no, talk more. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. It just. Uh. So I feel like we should now um, shift gears a bit. Shift gears? Shift gears. Yeah, we'll talk about good superheroes that we saw. Oh, good superheroes. We also saw Deadpool. Yeah, that was the. Um, <laughs> How would you describe the contrast between these two movies? Like, in terms of uh, quality? Yeah. Okay, b basically take Deadpool. all the criticisms that we just had for Batman vs. Superman. Like, the okay, so what were the main criticisms of Batman uh, vs. Superman? It had no focus. Had no focus? Yep. Um, it, they had bland characters. Bland characters. Misused actors. Misused actors. Um, the act let's see, what else did we say? Well, oh, it was confusing. Philosophy. Very confusing plot. Yeah, um, very the plot. philosophies were, did not really make any Flashbacks sense. that don't mean anything. All right, now let's talk about Deadpool, an extremely focused character, character-driven story with a flashback sequence that that, that ties sense. everything together, um, and keeps you interested and entertained for the entire uh, duration. And it's also very clear the whole time, and very and clever. And it's funny and it clever, also, yeah, it very clever. See, also and it uses long. its actors super well. It also didn't seem very long as. Like, I feel like Batman and Superman, it, it, it dragged it on. It was super it, long. It, it, it dragged on, on. on. But Deadpool was just like, oh, it's like already over? Wow. I, yeah. It was so quick. It was like, there it is. It's already over. I know, because it started at 11. Yeah. yeah. The like thing is, Batman vs. Superman felt so long, and I don't remember, like, anything well, at least. Yeah. Like said, I, I, the thing is, I wanted it to be good. I really did. Yeah. That, I was very hoping it would be really good. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard reviews of it saying that it was bad, and I went in really hoping that they were wrong. Like, I yeah. went in going, okay, 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 I've heard some really bad reviews of it. Please don't be true, because I want there to be a competitor to Marvel, you yeah, know? Yeah, I do. Like, I really do. And I guess, I guess Fox is sort of a competitor to Marvel, but they're using Marvel properties. Yeah. Like, I want there to be good... Batman and Superman. Batman and Superman movies. Because, you yeah. know, those are good characters that you can use. Yeah. I guess if you can. You use them properly. Yeah. Oh, um, gosh. I don't know. Deadpool was, Deadpool was great, though. Like, I love Deadpool. Deadpool. This is the was. second time I've seen Deadpool. That was this the is the first time you've seen Deadpool. Yeah. First, first time I saw Deadpool. Deadpool. First. Second. Second. Third. 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 Okay, well, this is your first though. time. What did you think of Deadpool? I need to see it again, like, about ten more times. <laughs> I loved it. Well, what are your thoughts coming away from it? Uh, my thoughts coming away from it. Um, my previous, like, favorite, but all-time favorite superhero movie was Kick-Ass. And I think that Deadpool beats Kick-Ass, and that was a tough I don't know about that. I, I think it does, because it was just as snappy, I felt. I felt uh -huh. like it was just as clever, if not more, and it just felt more alive. Yeah. It, yeah, it definitely felt. Okay. It definitely not slow. That being said, I don't hate Kick Ass. Like Kick Ass is still good. It is good. It's still really, really good. Mm -hmm. And if if Deadpool were to take its spot, it's only going to go to number two, and that's not that bad. But is that is that your favorite superhero movie overall? Yeah. Uh, okay. Kick okay. Ass. Yeah. Yeah. Kick Ass. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. I would. I would say. I would say that Kickass is a really great. Because one of the reasons that I like Kickass is because Kickass is like a meta superhero yeah. movie, where it's a it's a superhero movie about superhero movies, and I guess in a way Deadpool kind of is too. Yeah. Like. So. It's so good about. So is that what you like? You just like superhero movies about superhero yes. movies. Well, I also like superhero movies, but the thing is that I like I like it because it's making fun of its own genre, and I like the genre in its in of, a, in and of itself. I guess I guess the the reason that they're both good is because they're both very savvy. They both know yes. what they're talking about, and like they know which tropes to make fun of. Like Deadpool's got like, oh, she's gonna do the superhero landing. I'm gonna do the superhero landing. You did the superhero landing. That's really bad on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was good because like every superhero franchise does that landing. Yeah. It's nice to draw attention to it every now and then. Um, 
Okay, let's see. What else? Um, uh, what else did you like about Deadpool? Deadpool. Um, I I liked how aware he was of everything. Oh yeah, because yeah, I know. I know. I like that about him though. I like how well they did it as yeah, well. They, they could have easily like like screwed that up. The funny thing is, Batman vs Superman. Yes, it's hard to do, but I feel like Deadpool is so much harder, and they got Deadpool so much more right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just really wanted them to see if it was so good. I hope Suicide Squad does not suffer from the same So is thing. Suicide Squad in the same cinematic universe? I, I don't know. Good question, is it made by the same, is it going to be made by the same people? Please tell no, me. No, it's good. good. Is it? I thought it is. No, it's not, it, oh, well, I mean, yeah, it's made by the same studio. You, you're going to need to turn here. I'm just going to go to the interstate. What? You're going to what? I'm going to take the interstate. You know, take the interstate? interstate? But that's, no, the, the interstate's cutting off like a... No, it's not. It's yeah. It, Okay, imagine a triangle. Um, 340 is a straight line. Just Okay, just take it. You're here now, anyway. Anyway, might as well. Anyway. Um, <laughs> my excellent driving skills, everyone. But 340, okay, imagine a triangle. 340 is the hypotenuse. You are taking the two legs of the oh, triangle. Oh, shut up, nerd. <laughs> it's a I longer thing. I understood that one. Yeah. <laughs> You, okay, Triangle. there's one there's one longer side and there's two shorter sides which are actually longer. You're taking the shorter sides which are actually longer. Oh, <laughs> well, you know what? Do what I want. Oh, whatever, whatever. I do what I want. So, anything else that we, that we wanted to bring up? Um. So, if we, if we had to rate it, like Batman vs Superman, what, what, what would you like? Batman vs Superman? Yeah. Can I rate lower than one? No. Um, I'd say a one. That movie didn't work at all. Like it was, it was terrible. Like yeah, there were maybe like, if I had to pick parts out of that, like, if I were to like pick a highlight reel for like maybe say a trailer, there were maybe five good points in that. In a, out of like, what should be a, like a hundred something points, you got five points. Ooh. Yeah. If you. Uh, how about how about this? Let's yeah. say that for a movie. Um, uh, you rate it by how many good minutes there are yeah, out of the total. Yeah, it gets right. An F. It gets an F. Oh, it gets like almost a zero. Like if I were to give it a number rating, I would give it um, maybe yeah, I'd say maybe a five. I'd say so five like, minutes like, enjoyment. Yeah, like 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 out of out, yeah out of um out of, out of what two two hundred and what two hundred and minutes yeah. it's over 200 minutes though right yeah it's long it's yeah. really long um out of that five minutes of enjoyment yeah what? and whereas deadpool is like an hour and a half or something right and i love sure. every I second of it be on interstate calls for fire department genius we're anyway. about to get lost on the damn interstate how are you gonna get lost on the interstate? Yes, yes, we're going the right way. Yes, it's a line. <laughs> How do you get lost on a line? The only way we could be going the wrong way is if we were going back to Lexington. This is true. Yeah. Which we're not, by the way. Yeah, I know, right? I hope this not. is the way to Stanton. Okay, so, yeah. We're going to Waynesboro. I know, but in order, this is why I said don't take the interstate because we have to go through Stanton to get to Waynesboro. That makes sense. So, so anyway, you're all enjoying this local geography lesson, which yes. is all bleeped out, by the way. Is it? Probably. Okay. Well, anyway, I think that wraps it up. Um, that that was kind of our first uh, movie review, I guess you could say. Yeah, we should more often because I. All right, math nerd. There, there, That's there, how long it is. There, there, there's a there's a lot of like movies <laughs> that, I've never, that I want to talk about this year. So that this is one of them I want to talk about. It was it was great. It was uh, I don't know awful, god awful. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay, what's your bit? Okay, so my, my bit is if the if the two movies were taking tests about how well they did. Deadpool, A+. Plus. You get a star. Awesome. Um, Batman vs. Superman, see me after class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to talk about film filmography 101. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's another thing. There were a lot of times in Batman vs. Superman where I could even see where the good edits would have been. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of bad editing. Like, 
there, like the example that I'll use is um, is that they're in what they're in Lex Luthor's uh, yeah, his, his, mansion. Like his mansion. And there's, and a there's a painting of like angels fighting demons, right? Right. Yeah, that's what it is. And um, he talks about um, the irony of it, how we should, how it's upside down. We should know that the demons don't always come from below. Um, and and then they cut to Bruce Wayne in like in a mausoleum. No, no, in a field. He's in, in a, a field, field first. In a field, right? And then he goes into a mausoleum, and then he goes up to a up to a casket. Well, not yeah. a casket, but like a a vault in the mausoleum. Yeah. And then the camera turns right, and it shows a stained glass window of an angel. Motherfucker, if you're gonna go from a scene about angels and demons to a scene with a fucking picture of an angel, or cut from angel to angel, you better dumb shit. Better yet, cut have the discussion about angels and demons, cut yeah. to the angel and then pan to Superman. There you could go. Do, could do. That would be really good because but, wait, wait, wait. But the point is that we wanted to get the Batman. I know, I know, I know. So Talk about that. Have the camera push in toward the angel in the painting. Pull out on the angel in the goddamn stained glass. Or have it pan Batman. I don't care. Or just do a demon. fucking match cut where the angel is in the same goddamn pose in both scenes. Because then, guess what? You've established continuity. Yay. God damn. And it's visually pleasing. Yeah. But like when you don't cut from one to the other, but that element is in both scenes, it just sounds like somebody's having a metaphor and going, "Do you get ow, it? Ow, Do ow, you ow, get, I it? get it? Stop it!" Yeah. All right. Well, we all agree that was a terrible movie. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. Movie. Awful. I probably saw it at drive-in. Okay, I'm losing my voice. So. so. Here. All right. Somebody turn off. We're done with yelling it. All right.